guys so today we're doing another video on the HackRF and another application that's found on the Mayhem firmware so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the microphone app today now the microphone app can actually allow you to turn your HackRF and Portapack H2 into a walkie-talkie and so that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about today and also showing you know an idea of how you might go about um, getting it tuned in on different devices so what we have here is the HackRF the Portapack with the actual H2M um, board and I also have some other devices nearby as well so if you look in the back you're gonna note my actual SDR I have an RTL dash SDR hooked up to the laptop here now this is also another nice way that you can get a nice big screen to then be able to take a look at the signals and see where you need to do some fine-tuning on your devices to coordinate as a walkie-talkie so you might choose to do the same with an RTL SDR on a laptop so you'll have the full screen application and you'll be able to see some real details there for the signal and otherwise you can also use your HackRF and Portapack for the same thing uh, you can take a look at looking glass here there's different applications as well the receive app which is something I'm going to do a dedicated video on that is a good one the audio app here that's a good choice to take a look at the signal so if I were to take my Baofeng here and I would do something like a transmit now make sure you do turn down the power if you're transmitting in close vicinity if you note I've turned down the LNA and the VGA I've also have the amp off so it's not going to affect things since you're using a walkie-talkie you're both transmitting and receiving now one of the shortcomings of the hacker F is that it is half duplex which means it can only transmit or receive at once so it can't do both at the same time but that actually makes it a perfect device to act as a walkie-talkie and I've actually um, got the audio app open so we can take a look I can speak into the Baofeng and see what happens there testing first though of course you're gonna wanna match those frequencies I was doing something else so I have all this running at you know low power on the transmission and also on the receiving end now I can hear it. I'm not sure if my actual phone is able to pick that up. Let's go ahead and turn it up again and maybe you'll be able to hear it better. Testing. Test. So you should be able to hear that on the video. Um, so what we were able to do is also we're able to see exactly where that signal is. So we can actually make sure both our radios are lined up on the signal and the actual frequency um, so you might do this on your hacker F you might choose to do this if you have an RTL dash SDR I'll go ahead and show it on there as well so let's go ahead and turn the volume up on this testing testing, testing. testing. and you know there's a little delay there now I do have a dipole antenna far in the background which you may be able to see a little bit of it uh, but it's not like uh, crystal clear testing testing. Testing. testing testing so as you can see everything's coming loud and clear on both devices both the hacker F uh, porta pack and also on the laptop over here now if I were to mute this and then I can show you some of the microphones that I bought recently uh, using the uh, member support uh, for the blog and channel. So thank you guys to those who have helped out with getting some of these microphones for the video tutorial. So what I have here is I have two different types of options for you. So I actually initially bought this one and I forgot at the moment that of course if you plug in the microphone it's going to route your audio through that as well so one option you have if you do get a clip-on mic like this 
is you can actually plug it up anytime you're actually transmitting and then anytime you're receiving you can unplug it and that way it won't interfere with your ability to receive audio or or and this is a more ideal option for those out there watching we also have a headphone mic that is a set of headphones that also has a little microphone button right here so I can press on that microphone button and then I can transmit doing that as well. So that's just yet another option. And this is what I would use on the go more likely because the speaker in the Hacker FM Portapack is not exactly the loudest of speakers. Um, and with headphones, you're going to get much better ability to uh, listen to that transmission. I could plug that up, but I wouldn't be able to record that it's receiving something. So let's go over to the actual application now and talk a little more about the application at hand. So go all the way to the beginning and over here, you'll see the microphone app right there. And this microphone app is the one that's going to allow you to both send and receive to turn this into a walkie talkie. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, as you can see, you can hear a lot of static. There's a lot of different options here. So if you're close by, you may want to turn the boost off. That's one option there. Um, you also want to make sure you get your bandwidth tuned in. So if you know, we can actually see the, um, the width of the bandwidth when it's transmitting on our laptop. So when I do that, I can actually take measurement by tuning in the laptop to that transmission. And then I can actually test. As you can see, you want to tune it in and that will also help you measure that bandwidth. And then you can simply enter it here on your microphone app. So once you get the actual bandwidth that is being transmitted or you're receiving, you can go down to your receiver part and you can also tune in the bandwidth right here. As you can see, it's on 16K. Um, so you're going to want to make sure, depending on the devices you're using. So you may be communicating with different radios than I have here. Let's go ahead and turn this down because it's just a little distracting. So you may not have a Baofeng. You may have something else that uses different modulation, um, maybe set to different modulation. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you tune in yours to match up with both devices you want to communicate with. And down here you have a PTT TX button and what that is is a push to talk button. So on the Baofeng also has a PTT button right here on the side. So that is the push to talk button. That's what it stands for. And so um, you can also plug in either mic and then transmit right back. So we'll go ahead and take this clip on one and we'll go ahead and plug it up. Turn up volume a little bit. Now, make sure to speak into the mic as you do the push to talk. Testing, testing. So as you can see, that's a little close. Let's try one more time. And you want to turn down the boost, of course, if you're close by. And turn down amplification as well. You may not need it if you're close by. Now, further you get away, the more you will want to play with things like the LNA, the low noise amplifier, the VGA uh, amp as well. Um, but really, it all comes down to reading those signals on your screen, be it on this screen, where you can actually see how much power is being used. So you don't want to over receive something too powerful because it can damage your device. You want to ensure some safe distance and also turn down amplification in order to prevent damaging your devices. You don't want to overdo it and kill your device. Testing, test. So as you can see, you can hear it right on the Baofeng. Now, if I had it a little further away, it would be a little more clarity there. And you can also hear it right on the computer. So we have that um, all set up to be lined up. And the way I was able to do that was, and I did share a preview video earlier on this, 
um, what I did was I take a look at the signal itself on the RTL-SDR application back there. And that gave me a really good close-up in order to, you know, tune in perfectly to the signal, you know, change some of the amplification to prevent damaging anything and also to receive a more clear signal because over amplifying something is not going to improve the sound quality. Just remember that. Pay attention to the signal strength. If it looks too strong, if it's bright red and very thick, that will mean you are a little too close or you have too much ampli amplification going on. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure to tune those things down. Um, as so I showed both today, both receiving and sending with the microphone app, which at, can act as a walkie-talkie. So this is, could be really cool if you're out you know, playing around with friends, um, possibly going on a hike or something, you could check and see the kind of distance. Just keep in mind when you're dealing with radio, anything, any barriers are going to shorten the distance of your transmission. Uh, as you can see, I have it tuned in for all three devices at the same time. I have the Baofeng right here tuned in to it, which is able to receive it with perfect clarity, especially when I add a little more distance um, and turn down all the amplification because, of course, that's only going to harm your actual ability to receive. So let's go ahead and do one more. Testing. Volume's down. Let's turn that volume back up. And let's unplug that mic. So you're gonna have to remember, if you get a plug-in microphone alone without the headphones, you're gonna need to remember to unplug every time you're planning to receive something. Testing, testing, test. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. If you overdo it, uh, you're not going to improve things. So just turning up things like the gain and the amp doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a better quality at all. In fact, you could harm your devices by transmitting too closely with too much power. So now that we have the right frequency, let's go ahead and try that again. Testing, test. As you can see, everything works great on the Porta Pack and the Hacker F with using it as a walkie talkie. Um, you just need to be very careful, especially when you're setting this up, not to over amplify things, to keep a safe distance between your transmitting and receiving device, and make sure to turn down the amplification, the LNA, the uh, VGA if you're in a closer vicinity. Now, the further you get away, the more you may want to play with those. Make sure to share the video on social media, it's a huge help for the channel I've done thousands or hundreds of videos thousands of hours in this so really appreciate your help sharing it because the whole idea is to get as many people as possible to see the channel and I will be back later with more on the Porta Pack, the Hacker Ref and SDR. Oh, it's supposed to feel